Welcome everybody to a super quick video about my favorite sniping spots on woods. So this might be helpful to you if you're trying to complete Shooter Born in Heaven or Tarkov Shooter Part 8 or any of the other crazy Jaeger quests that require you to use a bolt action rifle. The scopes I would recommend for this are something like the Elkan, the Voodoo, the Valde or similar scopes that have variable zoom levels because some of them are quite close to the enemy at times. Right, so at this spot, basically, you can be lucky and get a spawn right here. And then what you probably want to do is to get up there and get up on this rock. So you have a great view of the user camp and people basically using this sandy bank to either get up or down from the user camp and also people just passing by from wherever they were over here, so the traffic. Then if you reposition slightly, or if you hear any, any sounds around you, you can kind of reposition yourselves all the way along these rocks, and you have great visibility of this whole area below, where people might come from the lumber camp or um, go down to the, to the checkpoint. Here we can see a duo that just rolled up to the camp, and I managed to get a kill on the first guy. The second one very smartly evades me and I have to wait a little bit until he comes out again. I see him looting his friend. But then we get him on the escape. He is another victim, very slowly and tactically approaching the... Never mind. However, this isn't the safest sniper spot in the world, so be aware of people jumping around you. The fallen tree is very close to the attachment shack uh, that also has a scab spawn and basically you will be I think about here for the fallen tree and you have a good view of this uh, duffel rock where people sometimes walk up and down or along this rock to fight Sturman or to try to find Sturman. And uh, you can even get some kills in the in the tree line here if you kind of look back. Then, if you look towards outskirts, you can also see a portion of the way towards uh, towards outskirts. But mainly, you'll probably be focusing on the the wooden area around and where people people don't expect you um, sitting up in that tree. I would recommend walking slowly up the tree because when you get to the top you will walk a little bit slower before you just fall off the edge because the tree isn't solid all the way up and over there if we zoom in we can see a dead scav that people loot and that's the attachment check now here an unsuspecting victim of our shenanigans crosses to the path and the hunter takes the shot that's bait. Sniper Rock is probably one of the most famous locations and it's situated right in the middle of the map of woods and there's two ways to get up there. So depending on where you spawn, uh, you can run towards the mountain stash and the mountain stash will be on your right side as you're approaching the rock. And then you can climb up here or if you come from, for example, the village side, you can go through these little pathways and then drop down to where there's like a little sleeping bag and then hop up again. Uh, from the sniper rock, you are very visible from basically these angles here. Um, but that's actually also a good area to get some thermal kills. And uh, from the sniper rock until about the middle of the lumber camp is about 250 meters. That's important to remember when you're playing with the thermal because that's where it will stop rendering. Um, if you reposition slightly from the spot that I show, uh, in the clip, you can also look uh, down at the spine, and if you're really, really lucky or a great marksman, you can also get some kills in the in the USEC camp. But basically, this is great for sniping all the way over to the duffel rock and inside the tree line. It's probably 350 meters or or about that. When you've reached the location of the sniper scav, there's a jump you can make with not too much strength. Um, basically, the trick is looking upwards a bit when making the jump and hitting the right corner. You can see here we sprint into the jump and just keep sprinting forward and jumping until we get to the to the next level. Now we've attracted the sniper scav, and then we can keep uh, jumping up. 
and then we want to get on the rock that's basically between the two platforms. And here we can lie down and be relatively protected from, from most angles. And that down there is a spot where Sturman can sit, about 250 meters away. This is what Deadly Slop calls Dickhead Rock, and there's a little way up there, and you can look. You have a great view of uh, looking over the lumber mill and at all the people that might be coming from from this camp over here, uh, and you can actually look behind the building that Sturman spawns at, uh, and you also have some visibility of the of the forest behind. But you don't have the greatest angles. However, if you reposition to the very tip of this one, you can look all the way down to the checkpoint depending on the weather situation, of course, and you can get some great kills there. Be careful, though, because everybody in this area can probably see you if you're in the elevated position, uh, and the people running through here will be able to spot you if you're lying down in the, in the more lumber camp facing position. This rock by the water can be a very convenient sniping spot. You have visibility of the beach, uh, depending on uh, your your exact location on the rock. You have a very, very um, small thing where you can lie down, so you can look kind of through the lumber mill. However, a lot of your view will be obstructed by these buildings. And uh, you can get some great shots on on the duffel rock or or some, some teams passing through. That's actually where I completed my Tarkov shooter part eight in the last wipe. Obviously, this spot gets checked a lot because it can be checked from a, from a variety of angles and a couple of the other sniper spots, so be careful. Thank you so much for watching. Please uh, remember to leave your favorite sniper spots in the comments below. Let me know if I should do another one for another map because I have been uh, grinding through the quest multiple times. Looking forward to the vibe doing it all again. Haha, <laughs> pain. I would appreciate if you stopped by my Twitch channel because I'm trying to get to a million followers. See you there. Bye-bye.